Sister Favor Celestine II. The Confession of an Ex-Demonic Agent of Darkness. Part 2, The Continuation. The purpose of sharing this confession is for every Christian to be extra careful and prayerful because you and I are the Church and the greatest enemy of Satan in this end time. Once, again, I say, my brothers and sisters, be sensitive in the spirit because not everyone you behold even in the church is a real human being. It's an eye-opening confession which was transcribed from an audio tape. You can read the full details below. The Confession of an Ex-Demonic Agent of Darkness Sister Favor Celestine speaking Before I was allowed to communicate directly with Queen of the Coast, I fasted for ninety days. And while I was fasting, they fed me with nine cups of blood every day. Brethren, there is power in the blood but the blood of Jesus is the superior and on my last day of the fasting, Queen of Alama C pounded a baby of seven days for my food before I was linked up to see and communicate with the Queen of the Coast and the Queen of the Indian Ocean. But brothers and sisters, you may not understand how I feel about the lives I have destroyed, that is why I need your prayers for forgiveness, for the Bible says that there are ways that seem right to a man but the end is destruction, Proverbs 14:12. Brethren, there is no free gift from the devil. Any gift from the devil can never last and there must be blood sacrifice before you can get it, that is why when a new currency is introduced into the circulation, children between the ages of 3 to 8 years will be missing. Because ritualists who want to make more of this new currency must sacrifice 14 of these children, two coffins, fourteen cows, three virgins of above twelve years to the queen of the coast, so that those new currencies can flow as much as they want in their coffin kept in the sanctum. Inside the ocean, there is a city built of brass, very beautiful, that is where is most of these bleaching creams, bangles, necklace, clothes and weave on are designed. Like in 1988, a woman's t-shirt was designed with a label, Sex Me On. Those t-shirts were designed to initiate young girls into prostitution. And we all know that a responsible person cannot wear clothes of such label, sex me on. With that label 64 girls were initiated in Port Accord and 81 in Lagos. Please brethren, mind what you wear so that you will not expose your life to danger. So, brethren, there is nothing God cannot do for you if you can exercise patience. Some musician in 1997 came to kiss the MQB stone and receive power from the Queen to sing their song but I want you to know that when the devil gives you from the right, he will take from the left. Those musicians were given some conditions that they can only reign in one album and the power would be transferred to another person and Aolo was one of them. That is why some musicians will reign all over the world in just one album and after that. Nobody will hear about them again. You can now see that gospel music is now played under demonic influences and not to the glory of God. Brethren, I believe that if I fail to reveal all I went through, God in heaven will not forgive me. For the Bible in the book of Mark 4.22 say everything hidden shall be revealed. I was one among the 46 girls sent by Queen of the Coast to go to different bus stops and Collect people's stars, initiate people, and dry their pockets just in the name of begging. In Lagos, we were at MILE2, Ashodi, Apapa, Seal Bus Stop, and many other bus stops. Other towns were Port Harcourt, Abba, Anisha, and Kaduna. Before we start an operation, we would dress very well. Sometimes, one of us would carry a baby. That baby is not a baby but an adult. In your eyes it would be a baby. Each group would be two or three ladies. While begging, we would be very submissive so that we can capture your heart to bring out the money. We would tell you, please we wanted to go somewhere but our transport money is not enough. Please sir or madam, can you help us? So brethren, please you need to be careful, but I don't say that you should not give. Beggars something but always cover your money with the blood of Jesus These assignments always last for 21 days for each team and they would go back to the sea. 
and another team would come out. The devil is not relenting his effort, but I pity some men who walk stupid whenever they see young girls begging them for money. They will smile as if they have never seen a girl before, that is why some drivers run into unpredictable accidents. When Queen of the Coast send me to cause an accident so that we can have enough blood in the bank, I will go and enter the front seat of any vehicle of my choice. I will put on my eye pencil. Queen gave to me so that I can use my face to charm the driver. I will put one earring on my nose and charm on my left leg, though some ladies do put on these things but they do not know what it means in the spiritual realm. While on the journey, I would smile at the driver three times. You know some of them look stupid when they carry a woman in their front seat. The fourth time he will sleep off and the accident will occur and I will disappear. Since I was initiated, no year that I have never destroyed between 21 to 26 lives, mostly. Between 17th of every December and 10th of January. But since I have decided to follow Jesus, please brethren, join me and pray, so that God will. Have mercy on my soul in Jesus' name. In 1995, May 13th. I was assigned by the Queen of the Coast to scatter matrimonial homes. I was sent to Port Harcourt. I arrived there by 12 midnight and pretended to be a student. The following morning any man I set my eyes on him would be forced to fall in love with me by the spirit behind me. I pity men who took stupid whenever a lady smiles on them, I will pretend to be a very good and quiet, gentle girl. Once such a man sleeps with me, he can never have his heart again. I would make sure that you kiss my private part, to confirm that you have made a covenant to give your heart to the Queen of the Coast and your life will be controlled by the Queen. On the 2nd of June 1995, I was able to succeed Mr. Mike Nwosu, a native of Ikwanu. Local government in Abia State. Chief Mike rented and furnished a three-bedroom flat for me at Rumunukwi Housing Estate. Chief Mike I am the one who broke your marriage and also killed your first daughter and terminated your appointment with the company. Chief Mike, why not thank God that you are still alive, do not doubt anything I told you. That my name is Antonia, that was not my name but if you can forgive me from your heart and fast for 8 days, 6 to 6, read Psalm 23, 51 and Psalm 4, you will regain your job in Jesus' name. But I pity men, who go about the town chasing women, the queen put a mark on my tongue so that any man who kisses me will always have me in his mind. And she also put a mark on my private part such that any man who sleeps with me will think of me always until when I render him useless and turn him to be a drunkard and will allow him to go. I am still afraid of the blood of the innocent souls I have tampered with in the thirty-two wombs of Young ladies that I have placed under Amakaka stone in the high sea. These thirty-two will never have children in their life unless it is by God's intervention. These are ladies who used to borrow makeup from me mostly powder, lipstick, eye pencil, and clothes. I use that to initiate them to the queen of the coast. They are mostly students and any man who sleeps with them must experience a watery sperm and sometimes low sperm count because the heat of the Amakaka stone will melt everything fertile in their bodies and curse them with internal heat. In August 1995, some ministers had a conference at Uyo, in a Kwe Bum state, so that they can pray against the forces under operation in the ember months of the year. I and 22 other agents were sent to go and monitor their plans, so that we can also plan a way out because the ember months is when blood is needed most. We traveled to Ayo through Ibeno High Sea but unfortunately it was not possible for us to enter the hall and we returned back to the sea and the Queen of the Coast equipped me very well and 29 others. We went back on the third day of the conference, entered the hall because I shape-shifted and impersonated Pastor Moses Ken of Light and Life Church. But then the pastor was in London but yet Reverend Dr. Uma Ukpai was full of fire. I could not stay and had to leave but before I explained to you the sign that you can use to identify occultic pastors and their churches, let me clear my conscience, 
so that God in heaven will forgive me. For the period I was used by the devil, I have tried to cause accidents and confusion whenever. There is a program, at the redemption camp along Lagos, Ibadan Expressway, but all was in vain. This mark you see here on the left side of my face was as a result of attacking some pastors. Of Mountain of Fire and Miracles Church. I did not born with this mark, it is the fire of the Holy Ghost that burnt my face. Some Christians don't know the impact caused when shouting that word, Holy Ghost Fire. Brethren, I want you to know about this, whenever you see four or more dogs gathering together. In the night, have a closer watch with prayer. If God will open your eyes to see, you will know that those dogs are not dogs, they are human beings. I have held a meeting as a dog in MILE2, in Lagos for eight months. These meetings used to commence by sharp 1 a.m. The plan was to scatter the two strong churches. At Maza Maza which I succeeded by first scattering their choir through fornication. And finally setting some misunderstandings between the leaders of the church. The pastors were annoyed and closed down the church. The days of these meetings are always on Thursdays and the reason for holding the meeting on Thursdays, was that the churches hold their midnight prayers on Fridays. So that there must be a preparation in the kingdom before churches organize their own night. Vigils Brethren, the kingdom is always on fire on Fridays, mostly every last Friday of the month because nearly all the churches hold their night vigils. That is why the meeting is held on Thursday so that some pastors would be discouraged and so that some people prayers will be blocked and some people will be discouraged to attend the night vigil. I have also succeeded to scatter the divine favor and grace ministry. The church was located at Ring Road in Benin City. I took upon myself to be sweeping the church with a broom the Queen of the Coast gave to me. This broom was not from the church. I always took it from my house. That was why the church has been losing its members. When I was appointed a choir mistress, I did everything and succeeded in seducing the pastor of the church, Pastor Kingsley Joe, and he has been fornicating with me and finally I killed him. Through an accident. I have also killed 14 pastors and 21 evangelists who slept with me and any pastor who fornicates with me can never exceed 60 days. That is two months and he will die. Some people die because of carelessness but do not let yourself be a victim of any devil devices. For the Bible says do not be ignorant of devil's devices, 2 Corinthians 2.11. Before any disease is introduced, there must be an agent behind the operation. Please brethren, whenever you want to urinate, elsewhere either in the bush track or anywhere. If you see an empty can kept there, please do not urinate inside. These cans are mostly milk cans. In 1996, we placed 6,000 cans at various points in the town and in villages. These containers are connected to the spiritual world and anybody who urinates inside the can who is not strong in the Lord will be affected by an outbreak of the programmed diseases. For your own interest, based on what I know, I know that greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. 1 John 4 colon 4 Brethren, I pity women who allow their husbands to eat from one restaurant to another. But I am not saying that all of them are bad but some use blood samples collected from the spiritual world to cook, so as to attract more customers. When I was at Ohalfia in Mbase, in a crusade ground ministered by Rev. Uma Ukpai, I offended God in so many ways which I want God and the pastors who were there at the two crusades to forgive me, so that my mind can be relaxed. At Ohalfia, 3,500 demons were present in conjunction with 11 native doctors to block people's minds, so that power of the Holy Spirit will not flow for miracles in their life. Throughout that crusade, those who were there can remember that, no miracle happened there. Except one woman was healed. You can only receive a miracle when your heart is open and I urge every Christian to be serious with God because the devil has gone out in full force to destroy many and bring them to hell. The End Kindly take some moments and read below salvation ministrations and see if you are indeed in 
The Right Tune with God Salvation Message and Repentance If you wish to escape the eternal fiery burning torment of hell fire in order to make heaven, you must accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and personal Savior today because tomorrow is never promised you must restitute and confess all your sin unto God and also ensure you join a Bible believing church for more spiritual growth. However, if you are a Christian and still indulges into various kinds of sins such as envy, anger, unforgiveness, lying, hatred, malice, murmuring, gossiping, stealing, taking or giving bribe, exams malpractice, fraud, smuggling and robbery. Perhaps you into masturbation, fornication, adultery, prostitution, lusting after money and sexual immoralities, abortion, lesbianism, homosexuality, kidnapping, ritual killings, and assassination, you must confess and repent today. Perhaps you are into drunkenness, fighting and quarreling, alcoholism, smokers, divorce, polygamous marriage, occultism, consultation of native doctors for charms making, praying in the name of Mary or any saints or angels, bowing down or honoring them, you must renounce all these abominations and plead for God's mercy. Perhaps as a woman, you still are given in into vile affection, changing the natural use of your body into that which is against nature, therefore indulging yourself into worldly fashions, dressing in transparent clothes, wearing of mini and tightly skirts or wearing of trousers, exposing your breasts and laps to seduce men, painting lips, fixing attachments, weave on, jewelries and earrings, makeup, putting on extra eyelashes, piercing of noses, tattoos, nails fixing, and body bleaching. You must repent, dispose, and burn them off and ensure you maintain your natural beauty. Because the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God. Remember, your soul is precious and was costly purchased by the blood of Jesus Christ and you can't afford to lose yours in hell for the next billions and trillions of years in eternity with eternal sorrow, tears, anguish, and hopeless of ever coming out due to mere pleasure and fashion of this world that passeth away which you can easily forsake now and run to heaven. O heaven is a place of everlasting joy, without tears, sorrow, and neither pains but rather filled with happiness and God's glory. Please my beloved, don't miss heaven and I pray to see you in that glorious city very soon. Confession and acceptance of Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus, I confess there is sin in my life and I can no longer keep it. I've struggled to remain holy before you. O Lord, help me and prevent me from your divine punishment in hell fire. I know that I'm not perfect. Help me gracious Father to have power over this secret sin. Disgracing my thirst for righteousness. I know the devil desires me to leave my sin in the dark. All my efforts to remain righteous have always proved abortive. Jesus Christ, I confess my sin to you. I know this Christian race is not so very easy on my part. Grant me the unusual grace to overcome this embarrassing situation. Lord, I am determined to surrender everything to you and now ready to live in truth and in spirit. I am thankful that the wages of my sin did not kill me nor waste me untimely. Lord, help me to destroy the altar of sins, anger, pride, and sexual immoralities in me. I know that you are ready to forgive me of all my sins and the prevailing of your mercy upon my life. Give me wisdom and the right spirit to stop any type of unclean spirit trying to stop me from my dream world with you in heaven. I refuse to go outside of your will. Father save me from the negative effects of this sin in my Christian life. I and my family are ready to serve thee till the end. Thank you Lord for answering me and for giving me a second chance to adjust myself. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray Amen. For counseling. Contact Evangelist Paulinus Paul 2TRU WhatsApp plus 2348096567919 website www.eternityrace.com email eternityrace@gmail.com 
https slash slash spirit reports dot blogspot dot com slash twenty twenty slash zero four slash sister favor celestine two dot html